Hey guys, Jeff here. It is February 4th, I think. Yeah, February 4th. Um, <clears throat> relatively mild today. Going to be up to like 45 degrees. I want to come down in here and check a couple cameras. Got Archie with me today. He's eating deer poop, as always. But I don't think the sheds have dropped yet. But they should be pretty soon. And I got a couple other properties I want to check out. Move some cameras around. But I just wanted to get a feeler. See if uh, any of these sheds have dropped yet by getting pictures. Look at this scrape here. Kind of like a communion, community scrape. Got a pretty good sized track there, but um, yeah. So we're gonna go down in here and take a take a peek quick, and I'll catch up with you guys if we got anything good. Shed. Find the deer shed. Do you see any deer sheds? Find the deer shed, bobbies. Yeah, like I said, it's just a little, little early yet, I believe. Unless we got a deer that's been wounded or sick, and they might drop a little early. I just seen a deer down the road. Probably should have got some video of him. It kind of looked like a buck. That had already dropped. <laughs> But until I start getting some pictures of bucks that have dropped, I can't confirm nor deny. But let me check this camera. And some of these are probably going to be dead pretty soon. I would imagine. Probably have to change some batteries out. <clears throat> but in any case... That's what we're doing. All right, guys. So that was not a good sit, I guess. So I'm going to pull this camera. <clears throat> this only had one deer on it in a week. So we're going to we're going to pull that camera. I'll pull it on the way out. Or maybe I should move it down in here a little deeper. Um yeah, we're just going to pull it now. There's just nothing, nothing coming through here anymore. At least not currently. So we need to find a spot where there's actually some deer moving through. So, that sucks. There's a lot of activity through here, though. I just maybe this camera just isn't picking them up. This is an older camera. But I was seeing a lot of bucks coming through here early on, and a lot of good sign down in here. So I'm not really sure. Obviously, they're not coming through here now. Maybe this one here will uh, show something a little better. So this is what I hate. Just a damn branch with snow on it. There ain't going to be no deer in here. Why don't they add thermal to cell cams or, or uh, trail cameras? That would solve this problem. Thermal imagery. Just nothing but nothing.
and here I come. Not a single deer. And we're gonna we're gonna get rid of all these. And I'm going to Archie, will you stop? I'm gonna completely remove both these cameras. There's just nothing coming through here. Archie stop. It's a hike down from here. Oh, there's some good vines. I use them for well, smaller ones, but I use these vines for doing licking branches. I'll find one of these smaller ones and cut it. Use like a three three foot piece on a rope in a community area and uh, make myself a licking branch or a community scrape, if you will. It's pretty neat watching all the deer come through and hit it. In my experience, um, when you don't put any scent on it, um, just a, a fresh looking branch, usually it's the fawns. The fawns will mess with them first. Once the fawns hit them, then the mature does will hit them. Once the mature does hit them, the, uh, the bucks will start hitting them. And then once you get it used for a little bit, and any, any big buck in the area will come by that and check it out. So, kind of neat tip of the day for you. I have a couple cameras out here. <clears throat> I want to check. This way. I think I got four cameras out here. This is Buggy Boy Stomping Grounds. For any of you that have watched my other videos, you'll notice there's a video dedicated to Buggy Boy, the guy that cuts trees down. So he can get in front of my camera uh, to show me his amazing Hitler looking mustache. It's really not that funny. He must think it's funny. But now this one here usually gets quite a few pictures on it. Normally, let's see what we got today. Archie, is your foot okay? Yeah, 660 pictures in. Uh, Looks like since January 13th. So that's not too bad. A lot of them will probably be Buggy Boy. Sir Buggers. Sir Bugalophagus. But. We're going to leave this guy here. Because we got a hell of a trail. Coming through here. There's like four or five trails coming through here. But these deer use this path here. To uh, run around. Making it easy for themselves, right? Just like us humans. Restart the phone. Put the card back in. And we're still good. So, let that one soak. Come on, Archie. through here too much because <clears throat> this is right on the edge of bedding 
bedding's down over this bank, and then bedding's also back here to the right. I don't want to spook these bucks out of here. And then not get a chance to find any of their sheds. Historic rub, historic rub. This is this year's. You see how this thickens up right down through here. They're coming right up out of bedding. Which, once it, uh, once it becomes March, after they've dropped, I won't worry so much about staying out of here but this is where I can suspect to find sheds down here in this bedding to the transition to food is what I'm thinking or what I'm hoping anyways Archie what are you on did you find a shed he probably won't ever find a shed but yeah I mean look at this runway through here a runway right through here <clears throat> I just heard something over there but this is a good a spot as any to search for sheds Archie come on trail right there so there's two trails right here to come together this should be a pretty good spot to look for sheds sure they're bedding down in here a bunch of them keep them out of the wind but yeah this is a pretty good trail right through here surprised there's not more more rubs right through here This one holds. We have another camera down here where my stand's located. Hopefully, we'll have something on this one too. And then when I get back to the truck, I'll go through them and let you guys know. What we're working with. Aren't you dang it? All right, so we got <clears throat> forty three pictures on there. I'm not sure what we got, Fox or something. 
Wittenberg. Those. In any case, I'll, uh, I'll update you when we get back to the truck. I mean, look at this trail here, though. I mean, she cut right in pretty good. And they're coming off the, the bigger woods back here on that bench where there's a lot of pines. Gives them a little cover from the elements, wind, snow. And, uh, I don't know. I think I'm going to kill a good buck in here next year. I'm thinking. Maybe not. But I'm thinking we'll have some activity, some sightings back in here. Hopefully, get on that 150 incher. That's my hope. Now I got three cameras in my truck. <clears throat> I got three other cameras <clears throat> out in a different spot. And, uh, I may try setting another one of them cameras or two in some different locations on the other side. Let's see what we got back in there. I need to buy a bunch more cameras. Really. I need to buy like, I don't know. 20, 30, 40 more would be nice. We're just gonna make a little loop here. Maybe we'll get lucky. Or this trail goes back in the bedding. And this trail, they come right together right here. So this is as good a spot as any. To, uh, look for sheds, rubs, beds, etc. Who knows? Maybe we're we'll lucky. I doubt it, but some good rubs right there. Going right off this little bench. What's that? Nothing, I guess. <laughs> pretty, pretty good rub, I guess. These aren't real tall, so definitely a younger buck. out of here. I need to first look at the pictures and see if they're still holding and then make that determination of when I want to come back in here and look. This is tore up in here. You just gotta be careful. And rock. Not spook them out of here. You be careful with your activity so you don't spook them. Is that Buggy Boy? It sounds like Buggy Boy. Well, See how this makes a little micro climate here. So it's up good for, for bedding. You can see it's like a little transition area here where it goes from pines to 
the brush to open woods. Now up above, there's a whole lot of corn. Um, they usually plant. So, these bucks are down in this thick stuff bedding. I'm coming out at dark. So you gotta, you gotta sneak in on bedding and get pretty close to their beds. If you wanna try to kill them early season, you gotta get pretty close to their bedrooms. They're not spooking them out of there to be able to get some daylight. There's a hell of a trail going out through here. I'm pretty sure I'll find some sheds in here. Look at this big scrape. Pretty good one. I'd like to see some of these cedar trees like this rubbed. I kind of wish I would have brought another camera with me and put over in here on this trail. But I got the two up top. The first one didn't do me no good. Second one, maybe I get a glimpse of what's coming through here. pretty promising in here. <clears throat> Thought I seen a shed. But nope. Binoculars say no. Just a broken stick. trail. But we're out here getting some exercise anyways. I think this is a trail. So again, this is like a little creek wash. It's a, it's a good spot to look for sheds as a deer jumps over these creeks when they hit the ground it'll you know jolt them a little bit and sometimes they'll be enough to drop their antlers right there another trick I guess that may or may not work alright guys well we checked these other two cameras and got quite a few pictures. I don't know if that's good or bad. Whether uh, they're deer or it's a branch moving. I haven't looked at them yet, but we're going to when we get back to the house. <clears throat> so. I guess all in all, we got some exercise today, got out, did some scouting, and we're going to hopefully have some good intel. Ouch. But yeah, we're still after them. We ain't giving up yet. It's early though, February 4th. And probably wait another two weeks. Come check the cameras again. 
wait till after my birthday on the 15th and then come back in here start doing some scouting shed hunting checking cameras so that's all we got for today folks but we're gonna we're gonna keep at them thanks for watching guys really appreciate it we'll see you guys on the next one